just want to say that this video was for Dennis G. He left a comment on my uh, video for the Blade 200QX arming problem solution um, asking for the links of my FPV setup and asking me to make a video on how to put it on the 200QX so that's what this is. Alright guys so today I'm going to be showing you my FPV setup uh, as I mentioned just a couple seconds ago um, for on my Blade 200QX. So basically my uh, transmitter here is the Fat Shark uh, RC Vision Systems 5.8 GHz uh, 250 milliwatt transmitter. It comes with the Fat Shark Predator uh, FPV package. I've got my wires running down here. They wrap around the land gear. I still have to clean it up a little bit. And then I've got the Fat Shark uh, CMOS FPV tuned camera. The only downside to this is it doesn't have any way to record footage, so that kind of stinks, but, um, you know, make compromises. Um, and then I have this little balance port, 2-cell, 3-cell, or 4-cell, that ha just hangs over here and plugs into my uh, balance port for the flight battery. And basically all I did was cut little holes in the battery tray to let the wires come out so that they can uh, hook up to the battery uh, balance connector for the FPV And I believe that Brian Heath had left a comment saying that if I put my transmitter on the bottom and had my antenna pointing down that it would give me better range and I can see how that would work because your signal wouldn't be going through your quad which I know is minimal but it would help but the only problem is um, there's really nowhere to put it on the bottom and I mean I know there's this spot right here but that has to come off for the battery tray and there's cords above it and you know all that and then also if I have my antenna pointing down when the transmitter is on the bottom you can see here when it's on the top even it just it hits the ground so I've put it on the bottom before to test and that out and see if it would work and it hits the ground so that's not really practical but thanks anyway for the uh, suggestion and I will be probably trying some circular polarized uh, immersion RC spiro nets um, soon so and my flight time is usually around five minutes it depends on how aggressively you uh, fly if you fly super aggressive, it's obviously going to be less. If you're just, you know, hovering around and going around real slow, then it's going to be um, a lot longer. But, you know, I'm no pro pilot. I'm just kind of learning. So, I mean, I fly around in between trees and stuff at a good speed, but I don't really, you know, I'm not like a racer that goes, you know, like 90 degrees and is flying through the woods at, 40, 50 miles an hour, so, uh, yeah. alright, so that's it for my 200QX, uh, FPV setup video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, especially you, Dennis, and we'll see you next time here on Clean RC.